Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. Two seconds, one big favor. Hit the subscribe button down below and next to it is the bell notification because when you hit that button and I upload videos like this, you'll be first to be notified. If you're watching on Facebook, thank you very much. I always appreciate a growing audience. Again, if you find this information valuable, please share with somebody and hit the like button down below. And also, if you want to schedule a 15-minute consultation, please hit the link down below. It will take you to my webpage in the upper right-hand corner. It will say book an appointment and just follow those steps because we would be more than happy to talk to you either, or either over the phone or we could Skype it. But let me see if I could help you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. <laughs>
and B5. B5, pantothenic acid, this helps the, um, the cells boost more cellular energy, which will, again, will give you more motivation and desire to move. Now let's flip it over. So dopamine is your reward system. So serotonin, this is a happiness hormone. Now this is produced, and you see here in the brain, in the back part of the brain, okay, it starts off at the hippocampus. The hippocampus, this is our memory bank. Everything starts, this is your working memory. Starts at the hippocampus, and, it's see, and you can see it spreads throughout the brain, okay? It through, spreads throughout the brain. The thing about serotonin, it has 14 different receptors it acts on, which is pretty kind of cool. If you think about it, dopamine only has, only has five. Okay, so it's a happy hormone. Serotonin is involved with mood, sleep, cognition, memory. What memory? It starts off at the hippocampus. Long-term memory. And the thing about dopamine, which is different than serotonin, the dopamine response is felt more of a visceral response, whereas the serotonin response is more above the neck. Because, you know, you, want, you like it. You like it. You want to remember it. You want to remember long-term. So with serotonin, I always remember like Siri, S-E-R. Sleep, emotion, remember, and the part of working memory. Now, what happens is that if you have too low of serotonin, this is where you're going to have irritability, anxiety, because also serotonin helps calm the brain. Negative, just negative moods, negative outlook on life. You're going to have food cravings. You're going to be depressed. Why? Well, one caveat, 90% of serotonin is produced in the gut. Only 10% is produced in the brain, okay? So you need proper gut function for serotonin to be made. Then it gets shuttled in the blood system and it goes up to the brain. Too much sugar will cause chronic inflammation, will cause GI upset. Diet, the standard American diet, wheat, gluten, dairy, soy, peanuts, sugar, alcohol, anything that's going to zap the intestinal lining will decrease even the formation of serotonin to produce. Vitamin mineral deficiencies, chronic stress, chronic stress is zap serotonin, leaky gut. Again, this is all diet related because leaky gut, chronic stress will cause vitamin mineral deficiency because you have a piss poor diet because you're chronically stressed out. So again, you see, so the first and foremost is to fix the diet. Fix the diet is always number one. Exercise, exercise always helps all moods. Sunlight. Now when it comes down to replacement, L-tryptophan is good as a precursor for serotonin. 5-HTP is also too a precursor for serotonin because it goes L-tryptophan then gets converted to 5-HTP, 5-HTP gets converted to serotonin, and then serotonin goes to melatonin. And also too, reduce your stress. So definitely these are some things that you want to do to help boost up the function of your serotonin because I always say if, the, if dopamine is your reward and your serotonin is the happy hormone and everything comes come down to the diet and exercise, that's where you want to start. Okay, so I hope this helps. Again, I, I have a lot of people who are confused about dopamine and serotonin and what can I do about it and so forth and so on. If you find this information helpful, please share it with a friend. And if you want to, if this sounds like you and if you want to get a hold of me, Please click the link down below. Again, take him to my website. We'll schedule a 15 minute conversation, uh, consultation. We can do, either do it over the phone or we could Skype. Okay? But let's see if I can help you out. If you have any questions or comments, please, please leave them down below. And thanks for watching and have a good day.